Hi, this is the Bubble Sort algorithm. Two lane eagles. Starting off with the sort array, 0 to 6. Some items are in order and some are not. So you're using the i variable to move along each element. The question is, is the first element greater than the second element? As you can see, it's not, so there's no change. You increment i to move to the next element so that you can check the next pair and you ask the same question. They're not in order, so you need to swap them around as shown and then increment the pointer to the next item and ask the same question. This question will be in a loop, so it will continue all the way through. There's no change there. Increment i, there is a change there, they need to be swapped. And that will cause the next pair to also be out of order and need to be swapped. And again, when they're swapped, you'll see the next pair are also not in order. And so they need to be swapped as well. Now we reach the end of the array. And then we start from the beginning again. Starting with i back to zero. And we ask all the same questions because it's done in a loop. Incrementing i, checking each pair of elements. And as you can see, the next pair are not in order. So they need to be swapped and then check the next pair and the last two pair. And that should have caused a swap to occur. You carry on until all elements are in order, no more changes, and use a Boolean variable to do this to ensure that the program stops so it doesn't carry on and on in an endless loop, checking when there's no need. So you'll have two loops an outer loop to keep doing a pass until all elements have been sorted. Notice there was two goes through the array there and when swapping the array elements you need to actually keep a temporary variable of one of the items because you're about to overwrite it here and so you need to keep this one safe and then you can use it when you paste the value into i plus one. So here's the program in Python. You have a bubble sort function, the array sorted Boolean variable and the outer loop to say keep looping until the array is sorted. So while the array is not sorted, keep looping. This is to go through each element of the array. So length of the array minus one, and this is to actually sort the array as shown. Array sorted equals false. will cause it to keep going around doing the bubble sort, sorting out the values, as you can see here, several passes until it's actually finally all sorted. So the comments were removed for this one, but here you are. You'll see a fully commented version of the same program, which I think you should experiment with. And you'll see I put zero there instead of false, but other than that, the program works absolutely fine. So when it comes to writing things like this, make sure that you Write it all down, do a dry run, fully understand it before implementing it in the chosen language. And that way you'll find it much easier. So that was the bubble sort and hope that helped.